What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about how ignoring a guy that you're talking to can change the situation and how it changes it, okay? Now, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Just click the red button below. I'll love you forever, along with the bell notification. And if you want to work with yours truly, uh, links are down in the description. We can have a one-on-one -on -one session, okay, to help you solve your situation. Now, before we jump into this, there's two things I want to say that are very important um, to how the ignoring process, let me fix this, how the ignoring process works. One is the the timing in which you do it. If you do it early on, he's just not going to give a shit. Not saying you can't do it early on. You should do it whenever you feel necessary. However, if you do it before five or six dates, I don't care how long you guys are talking, you have to see each other or you're just not going to give a fuck. You have, but if you do it five to six, before five or six dates, um, he's probably not going to give a shit because there's not enough real estate or investment in each other to, to care. Um, you know, cause you have to take in the context of the fact that he's already doing something for you to call him out and ignore him. Um, so he probably doesn't care to begin with, or he's taking you for granted. And then on, again, on top of that, you have only talked for five, six dates. Um, how much is he actually going to invest and how much is he actually going to care? That's number one. Number two is the reason on why he's ignoring you. It does make a difference. If he just doesn't give a shit, then you're going to be more convenient by ignoring him. Still saying, I'm still not saying you shouldn't. It, it comes down to your standards. Um, but he's just not going to give us as much of a shit versus someone who is just actually taking you for granted. So what do you do and how does it affect or how does ignoring affect your situation? I'm a big believer that you should only ignore a man if he is not meeting your standards, not to play games, you know, and if you do it, don't keep coming back and texting him again saying, you know what, actually, let me say one more thing, or I felt disrespected. Don't say any of that shit right? It's communication. You talk to each other. Yes. And if he doesn't meet your standards, you, you start ignoring him. So an example of this would be if you want to talk and text more, um, and meaning he's not d realistic standards. If you're trying to talk and text all day, every day, that's not going to happen. But if you want to talk and text more, cause you're not doing it at, at, if, if at all, you know, to begin with, um, then you need to call his ass out on it. And he was, and if he says something along the lines of, yeah, I'll try harder or I'll do this or I'll do that. And then he doesn't do it. That's strike one. I say, usually give a guy two or three strikes, give him the benefit of the doubt for the first one. Okay. Um, but if you keep saying, I want to see you, or I wish you would make more efforts or why don't you ever ask to see me? I see you once every two, something like that. If you're seeing him like once a week, once every two weeks uh, or, or longer, and he says he, he's going to make more effort to see you and he doesn't, or he tries something and then it dies off again, those are strikes, okay? So you got to give a guy the benefit of the doubt in the first place. Um, and if he's saying he's going to meet your standards, your realistic standards, and he doesn't, and it's, cons and it's consistent, then we have a problem. You ignore him. Now, you should only ignore a guy if you actually mean it and if you can follow through. Do not ignore a guy to get a response, ladies. That's where you go wrong. That's why you always lose because you try to put on this mask that is not really you. You're trying to be this badass bitch and ignore this guy when you actually are doing it to get an effect that is opposite of ignoring a guy, okay? So a lot of women I would know come to me and say, well, how long should I do no contact? What the fuck do you mean how long you should do it? You should do it forever if that's what it takes. If that means never talk to the guy again, then never talk to the guy again. But I tell women constantly, don't do this shit. Don't ignore a guy. Don't do this no contact stuff if you can't follow through and if that's not what you really want. You're ignoring a guy to put your foot down or you're doing no contact to put your foot down and say, I'm tired of this bullshit. Let's end it here. I'm done. This, this is not my standard. And so you do it. And if you get, if you get an effect from it, great. If you don't, great. 
it's supposed to be a win-win for you because you're not you're not going to deal with these standards that are happening. And this is this is guys you've met. This is guys you've talked to. This is guys you have something with. Not someone you swiped on Bumble and you guys were flirting for a month or not someone you sexed or not someone who you're looking forward to meet. This is a situation, not someone you're flirting with. This is an actual situation, something you have someone something with, okay? That's how it actually matters. But for it to work in your favor, the timing has to be right. There has to be enough attraction. So I'd say after five or six dates, and like I said, anything before five or six dates, um, it's not really in your favor. And you have to actually know if the guy truly likes you. If he's taking you for granted, that's, I I mean, you can like someone and take them for granted. Um, that's probably best case scenario. But if you're more of a convenience by him, or if if it's more of a convenience to him for you ignoring him, um, because of whatever reason, maybe you came off strong or needy, or um, maybe there's just too much pressure, and maybe not even your fault. Maybe he created it. Maybe he's emotionally unavailable, and he came on very hard and saying, I want your babies, and I want a relationship, and then realized that's not what he wants, and you're freaking out because he, you're thinking, why, why, why are you backpedaling? Like, I thought you wanted all this shit, right? But to but to sum all this up, okay, that shit has to be in your favor. There has to be enough attraction. There has to be enough um, uh, dates, I think, in the in the mix. And I feel like he still has to have feelings for you. If you ignore him, and by ignoring him, I mean you gave him his, his one or two chances. You um, you're not doing it to play games, and you're not doing it to get a response out of him. You're doing it out of standards. That is how you are best going to get a response out of this guy. Okay, that is how you're best going to get a response out of this guy. If this guy is not a douchebag, if this guy is just taking you for granted, he likes you, but he's not making the effort because maybe he thinks he has you, or he's he's just not seeing you as much as you but you or as much as you want, but you're not going anywhere, so he doesn't make the change and things like that. You will say a guy who's like that doesn't deserve you, maybe so, but you, like I said, you gotta get people to benefit from the doubt. No one's perfect. Um, that's where the ignoring comes in after you give them a couple chances. So that being said, ladies, I love you all. Take care. If you have not yet and you want to get a session, link is down in the description, one-on-one -on -one session. Uh, I love you all. Take care and peace.